44-year-old Augustin Gonzalez stands tonight accused of a heinous murder after he was caught stabbing 36-year-old Ima Landero to death in San Ignacio Cayo. Her body laid in a pool of blood inside a bathroom at Legends Nightclub. Beside her was the murder weapon, a kitchen knife, reportedly wielded by Gonzalez. That's what a security guard officer told investigators. In the wee hours of Saturday morning, security officer David Gordon made checks in the female bathroom. What he saw next would change his life. According to reports, Gordon saw Gonzalez repeatedly stabbing Landero. Gordon immediately ordered him to stop. Gonzalez then began stabbing himself before lunging at Gordon, who then subdued Gonzalez. The scene left behind is one mostly seen in a movie, but for San Ignacio resident, this scene was very real, especially for the victim's family. Love News spoke with the daughter of the victim, Alice Villafranco, who explained that Gonzalez was abusive to her mother and her siblings. From the first time we met him, he didn't like us, me and my siblings. I was living with my grandparents, but I always wanted to be with my mom. So I came here with her and my brother stayed with my grandfather because I don't know really, I was I just always wanted to be with her. The thing is that my stepdad was a very violent and jealous person, even with her children. Whenever he saw my mom being affectionate with me, he fought with her. I want there to be justice because it's hard. It's hard knowing that they took away the person you love most in this life. My mom used to tell me that she was like a lion, that she would defend her cubs. And she was always there for me. So this wasn't the first time that Gonzalez has reportedly attacked Landero. In fact, according to Landero's sister Amada, this was premeditated murder. And that's because Gonzalez was at her house earlier and told her that he would kill her sister. El vino a mi casa. He came to my house to tell me that he is going to kill my sister. And he brought two knives in each of his pants pockets. He took them out and put them on my table. He told me he was going to kill Ima, and then he left. It hurts a lot that he killed my sister, my little sister. I miss her so much because she was the only one who got along with me, and she was always here with me. It is believed that investigators have an easy case on their hands. That's because Gonzalez was caught red-handed. According to police press officer Fitzroy Yearwood, Gonzalez was transported to the San Ignacio Community Hospital, where he was treated and immediately handed over to police custody. I know that um, Mr. Gonzalez was treated and released by the medical officers at the hospital. He was released into police custody and uh, police arrested and charged him on yesterday's day. Sunday, 26th June, for the murder of um, Miss Landero. Landero left behind four children, two of which she had with Gonzalez. After her premature demise, they are now in the care of Villafranco, who is the eldest. Reporting for Love News, Giovanna Mogel.